All right, guys, so today we went over how the shutter works and mostly going over slow shutter speeds. All right, so what I want you to do now is you're going to go to your app store and you're going to download the Lightroom mobile app. All right, once that downloads, you're going to open it and then it's gonna ask you to log in. You can go ahead and use your student email or a personal email that is totally up to you. And once you have that all set up, you're going to hit the camera icon on the bottom right. You're then going to see that it activates the camera. It might ask for permission to activate. Go ahead and allow it. And then over here next to the shutter button, you're going to see the word automatic. You want to select professional. Once you select professional, you're then going to be able to see that we can control the shutter speed and the ISO. Right now, we're just going to be worrying about the shutter speed since that's the project we're currently working on, okay? So you can see that you have the fast shutter speed over here. And then if you look all the way to the right, you have it all the way down to one second, okay? So let's take our first section, for example here, the zoom blur, all right? So on our cell phones, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to where you see a one-tenth. And again, you're gonna see the, again, you're gonna see the shutter speed right here. So one-sixth of a second. Um, we can go down to one-tenth of a second, um, one-fifth of a second anywhere in that range. And then what I'm gonna have you guys actually do is while you are taking the pictures, you'll be able to move it in and out to get the zoom. Um, in the classroom, we're gonna use the cameras and we'll actually zoom in and out with the lens. But for what we're doing here at home, you'll go ahead and use this. Um, on a side note, you'll wanna make sure that you also have your ISO set to auto. And that way we're only worried about the shutter speed, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and press the shutter speed and you'll move in and out while you're taking that picture. All right. And that'll get you your zoom blur. All right. The next group that we're working on is going to be people moving around, but you want to have everything stable. Okay. So you're going to find somewhere where you can hold the camera steady. That way it doesn't move. You can set it on something. And again, this shutter speed is going to be anywhere from one tenth of a second to one thirtieth of a second. What I want you to do is experiment a little bit with a couple different slow shutter speeds. That way you kind of see what works best for what situation. Do you need more motion blur happening or do you need less? So you're going to experiment with those. So again, you'll hold it steady, set the camera down, and then you'll take your pictures. And anything moving in front of the camera will end up blurring while everything else stays nice and sharp, okay? If you turn in a, an image where everything's blurry, that's bad camera shake. You wanna make sure that you hold your camera steady, okay? And the last part we're gonna be working on, which is part three of this, is gonna be panning. So that is where you are actually following your subject. So whatever speed your subject is moving, you're gonna move with them. So whenever you follow somebody, you'll take the picture and follow them, take multiple pictures as they're walking by. Or if you want, you can challenge yourself and if you're walking with them, if you're walking with them, you can take the picture. You have to make sure that you're staying at the same exact speed as the subject though. If the subject or you moves at different speeds, it's not gonna work, they'll become very blurry. So you wanna make sure that you hold it very steady and move at the same speed as your subject, okay? So the three main ones are gonna be one, zoom blur. Then the next one is gonna be people motion blur when you have your scene nice and sharp but the people are moving around in there blurring. And then the last one will be panning. Again, that's moving with your subject. If you have any questions, send me a message.